a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel the governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress for the Edo State Gubernatorial Election, Senator Modu Olo, blamed bad governance in the country on Nigerians who always vote for the wrong people into office after collecting money during the elections. <laughs> Moving on from this, we have the campaign entourage of the governorship candidate of the People Democratic Party, Dr. Aswe Ehodalo, and his running mate, Osaro Dioge, in September 21st poll in Edo State. Yesterday, some on the local government where they receive APC and Labour Party defectors into their party. But guys, before we proceed, I welcome you all back again to our wonderful channel, Reality That Is Just Your Home of News and Politics. Thank you so much for joining. If today is your first time of watching, please like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn notification bell so that anytime our news drop, you'll be the first to get notified. To all amazing subscribers, I thank you so much for joining. So guys, let's proceed. The governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress for the Edo State Gubernatorial Election, Senator Modu Obolo, blamed bad governance in the country on Nigerians who always vote the wrong people into office after collecting money during the election. <laughs> he stated this while addressing progressive views in Edo State during an interactive section in Benin City. While promising to change the narrative for good, he declared that he is going to provide practical governance and he is going to turn Edo State into a construction site. <laughs> they have started with their promises again, my people. Edo people should be wise this time around because with what is happening in this country, they never use their clear eye go vote bad government. So they should be wise this time around because <laughs> if they go collect money for bad Congo votes for the candidates maybe say no be their choice because of money <laughs> they're endangering themselves that is another four years or eight years of suffering look at what is happening in this country a lot of people are dying of hunger the government says to do nothing so i pray though people should use this one and learn <laughs> that is why gojinja they made a vote for a competent leader senator modu bobolo told the youth to choose between darkness and light and elect a man they could trust to carry out good governance saying that the ball is in their court, their progress is in their hands, and their tomorrow is in their hands as well. The APC candidate, Netomo Nobobolo, who told his life story at the event, said, if really people of Edo State need to make Edo State their dreamland, that they need to make sacrifices. Pointing out that Governor Godwin Obasiki's failure has provided him with the manifesto to provide good education, good health care, tackle insecurity, provide industries, and employment for the people of Edo State. Pondo Bobolo announced a scholarship award to two youths at the event and one millionaire support with an additional 100,000 monthly stipend to a woman reportedly sacked from the state service for supporting him. Not only that, he promised to pay lecturers of Ambrosali University backlog of salaries on them and restore the institution to its lost glory if elected as governor of Edo State. Earlier on, the leader of the party, Pastor Osage Zinyamu, stated that youths were the injury room of election because they are the ones who mobilize, vote, and defend the votes. That means that after election, they are usually forgotten. But he assured the youths that Wado Bobolo would not forget them if being elected as governor of Edo State. So they should try their best to mobilize their friends. They should try their best and come out in March to vote for Mono Bubulu on September 21st, 2024 for the governorship election. <laughs> so I probably like to know what I think about this matter in the comment section. Let's make the comment live in our comment section. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. The campaign entourage of the governorship candidates of the People Democratic Party, Dr. Aswe Hodalo, and his running mate, Osaro Deogie, in the September 21st poll in Edo State. Yesterday, stormed the Omode local government area of the state as part of his War to World campaign, where they were received in Oho Ward 1, Ohi Ward 2, Geduma Ward 3, and Iro Ward 4. So, addressing the jubilant crowd, a community leader, Mr. Charles Egwe, declared that Iwumode was already locked down for Aswi Oje and PDP. And he urged the people to come out in mass to support the umbrella, the symbol of the PDP. In a significant speech, the leader of the legacy group of the PDP in the state, Dixini Masoge, told the people that 
as we hold alone was a candidate that is trusted. He told the people that he was a member of the aggrieved legacy PDP, but seeing as we hold alone and his capacity, he had to dump the legacy group to support as we hold alone, knowing they would do better for the state and party. And the fact that he is the best by far among all the candidates. He appealed to the people to join hands with him to ensure total victory for the PDP and Asu OJ come September 21st. Also, the Director General of the Campaign Council, Matthew Iduro Kenwe, said PDP was the only party that truly loves the people of Edo State. So he charged the people to remain steadfast and vote for PDP for good governors in Edo State. Be part of the candidates of the People Democratic Party in Edo State. Asu Ihodalo. He promised the people of Edo State that he's going to revamp and increase the agricultural production capacity of the people in the local government areas. That he's going to establish a fruit factory and complete ongoing projects in the area. He also promised to provide a lasting solution to the problem of water supply in that area. The part of his deputy governor, Osaro Deoje, he said they are coming into government to better the life of Edo people. Promising that the Iro and Uhi Road would be speedily attention to help evacuate their farm product when they are voted into office. So they should try their best and come out in masses and vote for them come September 21st, 2024. My people, the high point of the campaign was the former defection of two lawyers in the area, Daniel Owege and Felix Salari, two former staunch members of the All Progressive Congress. And others who joined the party with their supporters were Mr. Nicolax Edokpae and, and Jagede Robinson. Both of them were the former House of Assembly candidate of the Labour Party. But they decided to join PDP. And Osaro Doge, as we heard alone, welcomed them specially to their party. <laughs> because this forthcoming election, they no one door at all. So many people have started seeing the qualities as we heard alone. It's carrying. I make the no one door. All of them they join PDP so that to better the life of a do people. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions, and our comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. But don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. To all our viewers out there, thank you so much for joining us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till I come here when next, stay safe, guys.